Hi guys, this is Sadek from Webdom.com. So as you could see, I just flashed the LS Post app onto my phone. The flashing went fine. There's no issue whatsoever. You could see over here. The flashing is well and good. But now if I launch the LS Post app, which is over here, you could see it's shown as not installed. And everything here is shown as not installed. So I tried to reinstall the app, use a different version of the module, do a restart, update. I tried every workaround. But as you could see, all this shown as installed over here but it's just not working. So if you're also having this issue, then I'll show you how to fix this. The easiest way is to simply use a new fork. So for now, I'm using the fork which is known as Irna, the LS Post Irna build. The issue with that is, you go to their official GitHub page, which is over here, LS Post Irna. So they don't re release the zip file over here. You could either get the file from their Telegram channel, which I don't want any way whatsoever, or you may simply go to the action tab. So let's do that. Go to the action tab, which is over here. And then after that, open any of the actions. Let's open the newest action, which is this one. And then scroll down to the artifact section. And then you may get the download from this link. If the download is not shown, it's just because you have to first log in into GitHub. So currently you could see in my case, the login is not there. So there's no icon. Let me now just log into GitHub in just a few seconds. And then I'll show you. So the login is now done as you could see. And now we have the download icon in the artifact section. You could see over here. So get the release build. Once you've got it, let's now install it onto our phone as well. So get the release zip file onto your phone. But first off, please remove this LS post from the phone. That's very important. In case of the case, you go to module or even in case of magisk, then first turn it off from here. After that, tap on delete, uninstall, and it's not removed from our phone. Please do a reboot. After the reboot, you also have to remove the APK file from the phone as well. So both the zip and the APK should be removed. And then we'll get the file from here. These artifacts are being made after every few hours. As you could see over here, there are many artifacts. Just let me show you once again. Okay, give me a second. Add actions and you could now see the artifacts are being made after every few hours. 1.27, then 4.6 p.m., 1.10 a.m. So you may get any one of them that has a green check mark, not the red one. That's quite obvious. So you open any one of these. Scroll down to the artifact section and from there you will get the download file of the release, not the debug. So let's get the zip file. And as you might be aware, inside the zip file, we also have the APK file. So we'll install that as well. But first, we have removed the LS post. I was using the LS post Jing matrix, which is currently not working. So I removed that as you could see. And it's now gone from my phone. Let's now remove the APK as well for the LS post app info. Uninstall, tap on OK. It's now gone. So let's now flash the internet build of LS Post and let's see what happens. So launch the routing app of your choice. Go to modules, install, and let's now choose the internet build over here. Download. I guess this should be the one. This is the one. As you could see, tap on OK. It will now be flashed onto your phone in a few seconds. Then tap on reboot. After that, once the phone boot up, extract the zip file get the APK file and solve the APK file as well. And that is it. We should now be able to use both the files with ease. So please verify to log into GitHub and only then you'll get the file. If you're not logged in, you will simply get something like this. Let me show you. If you're not logged in, you will not get the download icons over here. You could see it's blank. Or you may simply use the Telegram app as well if you have. But I don't use the Telegram channels. I'm not a fan of that. So let me show you. This is the Telegram link. There's nothing in the release section. So skip that anyways. We now have the module installed. The kernel SU next. Let's open it. Modules. Enable is now up and running as you could see. So let's now extract it. The zip file of enable, which is over here. This is the one extracted. And get the file of manager APK. Install it. No need to extract it. Simply install it. And it's now done. Tap on open. And you can now see it's now activated. So the steps are now quite simple. In my case, I'm currently using Android 16. So it might be the case of Android 16 issue, but I still have a verification after even verifying in the Jing matrix, you could see over here, they said that it's currently up and running on Android 16 as well. You could see supporting Android 16. So I don't know what was the issue, but I had to leave this for now. Try the Irina build and you could now see it's now up and running without any issue whatsoever. So I could now install the mod of my choice. So guys, that's all from this video. If you have any query regarding any of the steps, let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.